Time. You know what it is? I'm hot. I'm oh, sweating. Is that what it is? A lot it's of the pressure. Heat. Oh, it's, it's overheating. Okay. Let me fill up the tank. Hold on. Yeah. Whew! <gasps> <laughs> Okay, oh. that might be the best outtake yet. Yeah, that's gonna be Woo good. That'll be in the beginning, folks. Hey, kid folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Nick, certified bartender. I am Derek, executive bourbon steward. I think what it is is that your name just has a good flow to it first. I think that's what it well, is. Well, I don't know. I'm just so used to bringing it in all the time because, you know, it, it was rough in the beginning. If you watch our earlier Woo! episodes, you can see how rough it was when I said, you bring us in, and yeah. it was just, uh, we didn't know what was going to happen. It went off the tracks immediately. I would never be a good lead anchor. I'd be a good co-anchor. <laughs> co-anchor, not At least I can acknowledge that. <laughs> well, there you go. See, then that's half the battle right there. You yeah. can acknowledge your limitations. Yes, but I you did. brought that in professionally. I liked it. That was good. I that tried. Was, that was like we've been doing this for over a year. Hopefully I don't mess the rest of this episode up. Oh, hey. So, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so as you know what we do here, folks, we are going to be trying blind what's in this right here, which is the letter Y in the word hybrid. I just want this to appear like Vera, right? Right now? Ooh. You want hybrid. hybrid. Blah, blah, blah. I'll yeah. see what I can do with that if I can go. If it's like a whisper of hot, like the letters just oh, come up. I don't know. Now you're pushing it, but we'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> just your face whispering. Maybe, we'll see. I Coming out of our mouth. Right, yeah. Call your friend. He knows how to do it. He does. I have to, I'll have to reach out to a lot of people to get yeah. this done. So we don't know what's in here. We don't know what's in the chug jug. Unfortunately, we don't have Bourbon Bay Becker with us today, but we do have a sealed envelope in there that we don't know what's going on. So we we're going to taste this. We're going to figure it out. Are you ready to whiskey? Today? I am ready and able. <laughs> Let's do you it. You got that much. The Yay! one thing I can do right. We're going in. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That's a change of pace. From the past couple episodes of the sweetness. Yes. I'm getting a little sweet, but I'm actually getting more of like a cherry going on right now. Yeah, there's cherry in there. It's a little mustiness. Some barrel. Some oak. Um, a light cinnamon. Yeah. Some spiciness. I did it again. I didn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to slowly breathe. Woo. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, that's good. It's got a nice nose to it. It really does. All right, I'm going to go in to break it up. Let's do I need it. To... Actually, I think I'm getting some mint. Um, this is the thing I learned at my uh, new certification, Whiskey Ambassador. You hold this over, you hand over the glass for like 20 seconds. Give it a little stir. You just let it, because now what you're doing is you're letting all the aromas build up in there. So now when you take it off, you're supposed to wait 20 seconds. Hmm. So Makes give it a, sense. Give it a try. You know what I mean? What do you got to lose? All right, you ready? Let's go yep. in probably been at least 20. Oh, big woody notes. That's all I'm getting. Wow. Like oak. Fruit. That fruit note. Yeah. And a lot of alcohol. Yeah. The, the, you're going to get that because you understand you're trapping everything. So yeah. nothing is leaving in there. So. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go in and go for the sip again. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Boom! Right in the kiss up. Yeah. It's got a little, It's it's got a nice finish. It's not overpowering though. It's not. It doesn't have the big hug going on. No. It's got a nice finish. It's lasting. It's got those nice spicy notes on wow. the tongue. Again, so, that uh, the fruit note in there. I'm going with like a red apple. Yes. I'm gonna let you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> because you're on a roll. I'm like the, yes. The cinnamon, yes. baking spice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is lovely. That's a really nice one. Whatever I bought is delicious. Mm. Cinnamon, the baking spice going on. The mm. oak is in there definitely getting the oak on the tongue. Nice finish. It's got that medium to long again, but it's not overpowering. It just coats the tongue and just lasts a nice, nice, nice amount of time. I'm getting a peppery note on the flavor. Um, and, and a lot of those spices come forward, so... You know, almost very like rye spices, I guess. I yeah, I could see the the, the now that you say that. Is rye. it a rye? That's the question because I, it doesn't taste like a rye, but it tastes like the rye spices are in there. If that makes sense, but ryes always get us. The ryes do always get us, and it's that rye spice that always takes us for a loop. But now that now that you said rye, now that's all I can think of is a rye spice. Maybe it is, dude. You got me. See, see, when you yeah. throw stuff out, now I'm all over the place. But I, I want to go in a direction. I mean, you wouldn't be wrong if I said what I what I'm gonna go with. 
But you know what? Water. Yeah, I was going to say, because I feel like... Water you, may break this you, up and may open it up a But little. you nailed a lot of the flavors that I don't... Like, you're not always going to get a million flavors. And you already listed a million, so... Maybe it'll be a well, million flavor, to but one. The thing is, like, I mean, the, your olfactory senses... Everyone's is different, so, like, you may only get three this time, but in the next one you may get five, six, seven. Yeah. You know, so it, it changes for everyone. There's certain things that I can't pick out sometimes because they're too subtle and other people can, so... Ooh. It's like a a grassier note to it. Okay, so it's funny you said I I literally in the last before we added the water, I said I thought to myself, I feel like there's a grassy note going on in there, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't say it. Grassy hay it. like that. I don't know. I think you I'm getting the hay on there. Yeah. I think the water opened it up for that. Interesting. Hmm. But like you said, very simple to drink. No burn. It's um, lovely. It's got it's very nice. It's very flavorful. flavorful. Yes. yes. Very good word. Yeah. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's got the spices. Yeah. Of the, spi the spices. The, the spices. spices. The, it's got a nice all around complexity to it. Yes. And, and hmm. I'm usually very picky about stuff like this, but it's just there's it's so well rounded. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's very good. It really is. I don't know why I'm moving that up and down because I'm trying to like create space in my head, but. I have no space in my head. I'm getting a banana Laffy Taffy in the back. I'm not kidding, Becca, for you! <laughs> banana Laffy Taffy, huh? No lie. Dude, you know, you, you threw me for a loop because I was going to go with one and you threw stuff out. <laughs> I love all. when you get stoked. It's awesome. <laughs> There's been some, and you've seen the episodes if you've been watching us. You know the ones where I've been just, like, the bourbon babe has thrown me for a loop. I just wanted to smash my face off this yeah. table. Um, hey, comment down below. What do you think of the new studio setup? A little different setup over here. You know, you're only seeing me and Nick from the waist up, you know. you know, it's, I don't know. Did we have below the, the waist before? <laughs> I don't know. It's a great question. Let us know if you saw below our waist in the last I episode. can't remember how much, you know, we were showing. If we showed When's a little the last leg? time we showed did you we below show the waist? Little, did we show a little leg in the other episodes? Because, well, I do remember people commenting about that we had shorts on in, like, November. <laughs> yeah, we still if, have, it's, it's end of we it's young, October, and we still have our shorts on. I have shorts on also. If I was young, I might right. be more like I'm going to start writing some stuff down. You don't want me to stretch more? No, no, well, I liked it, you know what I mean? I love I love the thought of just your leg resting on my shoulder for some reason. I probably would never get it back. Yeah. <laughs> Pull the hammy! Call a doctor! Okay, first? Um, you want to, let's actually grade it first, okay. what we think, and then we'll go from there, sir. So we're actually going to break out the chug jugs, which we did in our last episode, because we were still going virtual. Seriously. So we always have five chug jugs as... Zero to five is our number where yeah. we grade. Let's get these ready. Get them ready, sir. How are you gonna? What are you gonna do? All what, right. are you, what are you putting up there? What are you gonna throw up for the for the fans? One, two, two. three, and a half. Three and a half. No, so, right. um, I, I, yeah, I like it. I, I don't not like it, and I like it a little bit more because of that complexity we talked about. Yep. I love when you can dive into flavor a little bit more. There's no burn. I'll be honest with you. The thing that's interesting about this is that, and correct me, maybe you think differently. I think you could show a first timer this. I because think you it could. It doesn't have that like bourbony fla whiskey flavor. It's very like little spices here, a little flavor here. It's yeah, it's different. got a lot going on. It, it is very nice. And yeah. I don't think it would overpower someone if you're trying to show them something yeah. with this one. Um, I don't have a 3.75 on my scale. Nick laid his down. I was trying to like lean it against it. Maybe that was, <laughs> but I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to go 3.75. Okay. Um, that's my score for this one. Okay. Um, I'm going to show what I guessed. I went with a rye. Same. All right. For, I went 46% though. Okay, I think so you went more. high. H2O definitely because it opened it up for me. Once we put the H2O in there, that's when I went more towards that area. Mm -hmm. So um, whether I'm right or wrong, we'll see in a little bit. But so yeah, forty percent right. I went forty percent. I'm just I I think it could be forty one or something, but I don't. I really don't think it's forty six. That'd be high, but you could be right. Well, I mean that's only ninety two, ninety two proof. That's oh, all yeah. forty six would be. So that's true. It's not that high, but I mean it's not out of the ordinary. But let's see what we got here. I wish we had the bottle, but we don't. I'm gonna do the David Letterman throw. It. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. And right back. <laughs> I love the David Letterman. Oh, it's a bourbon. How did we get that wrong? Yeah, it is what it is. 
Uh, four Roses Single Barrel. Ah, I love Four Roses. Four Roses is nice. And this is actually 50% alcohol, sir. 100 proof, no age statement, assumed to be four <gasps> years old. It's got that... Oh, okay. That's why. Wow. Um, mash Bill is a blend of two different mash bills, five different yeast strains for 10 mash bills possible of this one select mash bill for the single barrel. Um, it is the OBSV, which is 60% corn, 35% rye. So it's a high rye mash bill. There it is. 5% uh, malted barley. Uh, Four Roses Distillery, parent company, is Kirin. You want to savor the taste of this premium single barrel again and again. It's complex, full-bodied, and surprisingly smooth with a delicate, long finish that's unbelievably mellow. Drink it straight up or on the rocks, 100 proof, 50% alcohol. Now here's the whole thing, dude. Okay. On the nose, dried spice. We said spices. Yep. Pear. We both went with apple. We said apple, which orchard fruit, again, you could be similar. I could smell the pear, and I hate pear. But now, it says cocoa or cacao. I don't... So, I, some, I, chocolate so some chocolate notes. Vanilla and maple syrup. Oh. Okay. But now, on the palate, hints of ripe plum and cherries. I think we said cherry, we said and then cherry. we said dark yeah. cherry. Yeah. Robust, full-bodied, and mellow. Smooth and delicately long. It's It's got a smoothness to it. But it is, we did say okay. it's that medium long finish. It's, it is. It's that flavor that when, like, when we stop the episode, <laughs> Derek and I are going to look at each other and say, oh, yeah, I can still taste it. I think that's what that delicate yeah. long is. So mm, It could be. That, yeah. You might be right with that. So uh, price on this bad boy. Uh, for the single barrel, 65 I don't know what that usually goes for. I don't, I don't know what it goes for either. Again, like, I did the notes. I did them a long time ago. So maybe... 55. Say okay. 55 bucks. Okay. We're both way off. 39.99. Wow. So I don't know what it is right now. I have to That's imagine it's awesome. got to be in a similar range, 40 to 45 dollars probably for it. Yeah. That's a really good inflation. for this. <laughs> for, yeah, inflation, you know, since when I bought it over, you know, probably over a year ago, at least I bought this bottle and did the notes, so I love this. It's a good one. I'm yeah. going to stick with my score. I think it's it, it's a solid score for this one. I really do. I, I think that's where I'm at. And other than that, I think that's I'd honestly, I'm honestly, i going to stick with it, but I'd lean, I'd lean up towards you, maybe even... 3.75? Yeah, go so, to four? but I'll, I'll stay with what I'm at. But I would say I, I, I think, interestingly enough, we're in the same realm together, which is... Which is, yeah, it's weird. Rare, it's rare that we're actually on the same page, so you know it's, <laughs> we've got to be doing something at least partially right. Maybe not our guesses, but no. maybe our scores. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe is a big word. Maybe is a big word. <laughs> but, but as always, folks, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and follow us, join our Facebook group on Facebook, and where we talk about all things whiskey all the time. And have you ever seen a co-anchor do nothing? So here's hoping that you... <laughs> I couldn't do it. He tried. No, he tried so hard. because you did so good. I'm like, I have to just let you go because it's so well, I was smooth. Just, I was just bringing that in, and then I was going to figure you are going to wrap it up as the anchor. The anchor brings it in at the end. That's your line. I guess. Have you heard? It's raining marshmallows. So here's hoping <laughs> <laughs> that you find a little bit of luxury. In an otherwise ordinary life, folks. See you later. Bye. -bye. <laughs> If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.